Watch out, it's a little Delta Airlines mad dog in disguise. Hello and welcome to a new episode of Review, where we today will take a closer look at a Boeing 717-200 of Delta Airlines. At the front of the box we have the cutout, so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft model inside, and at the top of the box we have the Delta Airlines branding. Then on the back side of the box we have a very lovely image of the aircraft in real life. We are also provided with a web link by Happer where we are supposed to get more information, however this web link does not work anymore. So that's all for the box, let's take a closer look inside and at the aircraft model itself. And here she is, the Boeing 717-200 in the current livery of Delta Airlines. Now this aircraft type was originally developed by McDonnell Douglas as the last part in the MD-80 series. It was supposed to be the MD-95, but before that could materialize, McDonnell Douglas was purchased by Boeing and the aircraft type was rebranded into the 717. But enough about the aircraft type, let's now take a closer look at the aircraft model itself and we start off with the tail section where we have the Delta Airlines branding on the vertical stabilizer but we also find four numbers that's an internal registration code of the airline. On the fuselage we then have the flag of the United States of America and the full registration code of the aircraft. Of course with the 717 or the MD-80 series we also have the engines at the tail of the aircraft. If you look here at the nacelles, they have been kept in all white just as most of the fuselage but we do have the lovely silver leading edge. Honestly speaking when we look at them from the back I think that's a little bit disappointing. I think that could be more detailed but if we look into the engines from the front we can very nicely see the engine fan blades. At the front of the aircraft and across the fuselage we then find the Delta Airlines branding and a little Sky Team logo of which Delta Airlines is a founding member. The cockpit section itself is rather bare-boned, but we do have the cockpit windows, which I think Harper has done rather nicely, and we have the window wipers, which have also been printed on. But that's all for that part of the aircraft. Then on the fuselage, just above the wings, we also have the emergency exits printed on, and that of course leads us straight to the wings, which we should definitely also take a look at. So if you look here at the top side, I think... Yeah, the wing could definitely be a little bit more pronounced with the different aerodynamic parts, but we do have the markings for the emergency exits printed on. That's a lovely detail to have. The underside is also a little bit underwhelming, but okay. Then we have the landing gear here, the main landing gear underneath the wings, and I don't want to be too critical because the 717 is a rather small aircraft, so pulling this off so it looks entirely true to scale is difficult, and I think Alpa has overall done a decent job with it. The same goes for the front landing gear, although I would have wished if they had just added a little bit smaller wheels, I think that would have helped out the model, but overall I think it's okay. And then last but not least, we also have the doors to the cargo compartments printed on here in the back side of the aircraft, and here at the front of the aircraft. So there we have it, the Boeing 717-200 in the current livery of Delta, the mad dog that never became a mad dog, but became a Boeing. But what can we say about this aircraft model? Well, it is a rather small aircraft in scale 500, so there are some details where we have to simply be a little bit more lenient and accept that it is a compromise between actually being able to pull it off and being true to scale. And overall, I think Herpa has done a decent job with this compromise. Um, I think the only thing I'm really disappointed with is actually the backside of the engines. I just think they could do that more detailed, but overall, yeah, the print is fine and the physical details, as far as you can make them true to scale, I think Herpa has done so. So if you like the Mad Dog or the 717, then I would say, yeah, absolutely. It's an aircraft worth having in one's collection. Now with that, we have reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave a like. That would be very much appreciated. And of course, if you are new around here, why not hit subscribe? That would be absolutely awesome. With that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.